Today Mark and I are at Golden Gardens Park, upper level, in Seattle, Washington. And this park is on a bluff above Puget Sound, so down below is uh, Puget Sound, the same body of water we filmed our last lectures on up at the park at Edmonds, Washington. So we want to pick up where we left off in our last presentation and talk about the concept of an argument in more detail. Okay. So an argument is reason that's been put into words. But logic needs to study something that's tangible, something we can get our hands on, something that we can look at and analyze. And so an argument is reason that's been put into words, and that's where logical theory starts, with the concept of an argument. But we need to look at it in more detail. So what do you get when you put reasoning into words? Well, you get sentences that express your reasoning. So an argument can be defined in more detail this way. An argument will consist of one or more statements, and we call them premises, offered as reasons to believe that a further statement, which we call the conclusion, is true. That is, corresponds to reality. So this gives us the technical, logic textbook type definition of an argument. An argument is one or more statements called premises offered as reasons to believe that a further statement called the conclusion is true. So every argument will have one or more premises. Some arguments have one premise, some arguments have two, some arguments have many. And then every argument as we've defined it here will have exactly one conclusion. Now, sometimes when people give arguments in everyday life, in ordinary contexts, it's hard to follow their reasoning. Have you ever heard someone present an argument and you're not sure what their conclusion is, what their point is? Have you ever heard an argument and you're not sure what their evidence is, what premises they're giving for their conclusion? So. This is why we have in the English language words called indicator words. Premise indicators are words which, in the context of an argument, indicate the location of the premises. A premise indicator word basically flags a premise or says to the reader or the audience, this is a premise. Words like uh, because and since are premise indicator words for the reason that. And a conclusion indicator word is a word which, in the context of an argument, indicates that a conclusion is about to be drawn. Words like therefore, and so, and thus, and in conclusion. Words and phrases that indicate a conclusion is about to be given are called conclusion indicator words. So in order to make your argument clear, in order to make it so that your reader can follow your reasoning, it's advised that you use premise indicator words to indicate your premises and conclusion indicator words to indicate the conclusion that you're drawn, that you've drawn, and then your reader will be able to follow your reasoning from start to finish more easily. And so that's the concept of an argument in more depth and detail.